Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to speak uh, much about this issue which went viral on the social media. Yeah, one day the nation was engulfed with the news of a missing minor corpse. The story went viral all over the streets of social media. What really transpired is the most famous question. As you can see on the pictures below, you can see this is Mr. Nyasha Chikomichi. He lost his minor child who was 16 days old. We say rest in peace at Stanford Chikomichi. Despite the wrangle and the misunderstanding between Tinokunda Funeral Service and the father of the child, Mr. Nyasha Chikomichi, was amicably resolved. On the 13th day, this, uh, this was on the 3rd of June 2020, the child was finally laid to rest at Mavuk Cemetery. Tinokunda Funeral Service donated a cascade free transport, free mortuary handling to the client Mr. Nyasha Chikomich of Kuwazana 3 Harare. Yes, they did this gesture so that they can help the uh, less privileged people in the community. Mr. Nyasha Chikomich said he was grateful to the service rendered by Tinokunda Funeral Service. Uh, I quote his words. I was surprised by the excellent service and help they had offered me despite our differences. My child was uh, not missing as the media claimed. I never said my child was missing. It was exaggerated by the media. Yeah, these are the words of Mr. Nyashechikomich of Kwazan. Uh, you know, this issue uh, robbed the social media. Everyone was asking what happened to the child, what happened to Chikomichi family, what happened to Nokunda. So as we can see, he's now saying he never said it, he never said it, and the child was laid to rest. Tinokunda Funeral Service as a professional entity was equal to the task despite all the false allegations by the client and the media. They made a good gesture in donations to their valued client. Moreover, there was a publication which was uh, made by a certain uh, media house on the 20th of May 2020. In the publication, Mr. Nyasha Chikomich is, is said to have stated that he was overcharged to such an extent that he wanted to use another funeral parlor. Hence, a false statement we can say to be of defamatory to Tinokunda Funeral Service was made to the media saying that the child Stanford Comich's body disappeared and the whole nation was amazed. How did it happen? A thorough scrutiny to this matter shows that, uh, shows what really transpired. On uh, Tilda Live, she carried the story in trying to find a lasting solution. Thumbs up to Tete Tilda for shedding more light and flesh to the whole scenario. The program Tilda Live was such a revelation which brought out the truth of the matter. We got interested into the matter and everyone wanted to know the truth. So, as we are now doing a thorough scrutiny of all the issues surrounding the disappearance of the minor corpse, the issue was taken out of proportion. The Rango dragged up to 12 days and the deceased was buried on the 13th day. Firstly, uh, let's uh, just look at this matter like this. Uh, Tinokunda Funeral Service, it is a business entity. They expect their clients to pay money for the services being rendered. As you can see, it's a, it's a business. It's a business. Whenever you enter into an agreement with a, with a certain entity, you are obliged to pay. So Tinokunda Funeral Service was uh, looking forward for a payment. And this did not happen according to the agreement. So what happened? What happened uh-huh that is the major question so was the body missing no it's a big no so what really happened <laughs> what i can say from this uh, scrutiny from all the investigations we are doing it shows that mr chikomichi did not have any money to cut off for the bills did he have the funeral police no he did not have any funeral police so what happened is the major question 
Yeah. So from the, my own understanding, Nyasha Chikomichi approached Tinokunda funeral service. While least he did not have the money to pay for the service. Moreover, he did not have any policy. So they entered into the agreement stating that he will pay the money. So the days prolonged, prolonged from day one up to day 12 when he went to the this uh, famous show when he seek for assistance. He did not have the money. But moreover, as you can see, they did a nice job in uh, do in donations they donated a casket imagine a casket coffin mutual handling and then they provided the transport to and fro the cemetery this is what happened it's a gesture they did to their client while they they've realized that their client did not have money at all he was just broke or he did not have enough money so during this uh, live, uh, live show he seeked assistance uh, the corporate world was quick to assist him and individuals they made a big assistance uh, during and after proceedings of the burial of uh, Stanford committee the family and the funeral service provider they all looked a united family as you can see just watch for yourself just watch continue watching they were a united family they've resolved their differences so what happened was the major question what really happened i think the matter was taken out of proportion to say a corpse disappeared while at least the corpse of a minor was in the mortuary and the person did made an agreement i think it's weird it's weird this is a weird thing very weird i let him to raise my case right now i will continue with a, a thorough scrutiny hey can you put your comments down there so that when we do our thorough scrutiny and investigation we will know the deeper things of this matter take care of yourselves during this lockdown corona is real stay safe sanitize yourself mm, don't forget to put your mask garamba <laughs>